Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra Sero. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. This video will be for my handsome and my beautiful Leos out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, keep in mind, this is a general reading, y'all. So it's not going to resonate with everyone. So take the parts that does, what does it, leave it on out. And also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future, okay? By the way, happy Valentine's for any of you guys to celebrate Valentine's. Go ahead, if you okay? All right, I want to start off with some motivation, though, you guys. Um, if you guys have Virgo in your chart or what have you, go check the Virgo video out, too, because some of these um, energies are just the same. But, yeah, we have here a divine lineage, okay? So, what I want to say is this. Your ancestors, they are watching you, okay? They want you to call upon them for something particular in your life okay um they're saying don't be afraid whatever it is that you need just call on them they're rooting for you they have your back and you know what i'm saying they're like go ahead leo we see you baby keep going all right because baby you have stepped into the queen and fertility energy okay y'all please don't mind how i say that i told virgo don't don't mind how i say it but yeah so some of y'all have definitely step into the queen nefertiti sound like titty but anyway okay energy here okay the beauty the beautiful one has came that's what she was known for the beautiful one has came you have arrived you have arrived everybody sees you okay some of you could be married or will be because honey you're you're not going to be single for long for some of y'all okay because of the fact of the energy that you withhold okay you have a magnificent light you are the sun Okay, you are the sun. <laughs> okay, the son of God. But yes, baby, beautiful. The beautiful one has come. I'm just picturing a lot of golds and bangles and just, you know, luxurious dress. You're just looking very beautiful. And you're just walking with a flow like, ah, the beautiful one has came. The beautiful one has came is what I see here. Okay, just like you're just standing there. You know that you're beautiful. You know that you're at the shed. Okay, people can see it as well. Some of you could be 38 for some of y'all, not all of y'all. But then we have here desire. Okay, what is, what, what is it that you desire here, Leo? What is it that you're passionate about? Okay, Spirit wants you to tap back into that. Okay, what is it that you really desire? You are love. Okay, you are abundant. You are beautiful. Okay. But spirit wants you to step back into that desire uh, energy here, okay? Getting back to doing things that you love. Stepping out, putting some makeup on. You know, get beautiful, get cute. And step out in the same baby, okay? Because you got something to fulfill, fulfill here, honey, honey. Okay, honey, honey. Some of you could be in fear since I came out like that, okay? You're fearing... Of being no some of you could be hermits like me but spirit is saying still it's different ways to go about things to get your your voice and your message out there okay or whatever it is that you do okay then we have the awakening yeah y'all definitely going through awakening things don't feel the same and it ain't the same okay because the beautiful one has arrived okay look at the queen all oh, be hell the queen okay or the king all rise is what I'm hearing. All rise. The beautiful one has come. <laughs> ooh, the sun is shining on you. So, ooh, this energy is, I don't even know what to say. I'm getting like tongue-tied, like damn. Like, honey, they're going to have to bow down to you, boo. Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles. Excuse me, the, the nine of swords. And then we have the ten of pentacles. So some of y'all worried about something or a family dynamic or family. Let's see. What is the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles? Oh, okay. That's too many cards. Let me get a couple. Oh, one or yeah, one or two. Clarify. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I cannot stand this type of energy. Oh we. Yeah. Some of y'all definitely could be worried about a family dynamic or this could be family members or what have you. I'm getting that you're so creative, baby. Okay, so independent. Some of y'all don't even got to wake up, clock in. For some of y'all, others of y'all, I do, even if you do, baby. It's still like you make it happen. Okay, you make it happen, capping. All right? And it's like, whatever it is that you do, I'm getting some of y'all hustlers. I'm getting some of y'all fucking hustlers. Okay, y'all a hustler. Okay, some of y'all have learned to hustle so much that your bank account looking right. 
you have any mishaps or what have you, your car or, um, you know, your tire blow on the side of the road, baby, you got a damn money to get it fixed. Okay, right then and there. All right. It's like you're very well off here, but some of y'all could have been worried about or these people are worried about your independence or you are in secret. What is the moon? Because then we have, yeah, some of y'all are afraid that. Your independence is going to be taken away from you because y'all could have people or toxic people that were in your life or is in your life that you need to get rid of um, that are trying to keep themselves bound to you, trying to keep you stuck, okay? They don't want you to reach a certain level in your life. They see that you have arrived. Now, I'm not talking about, yeah, you've been here for a while on this earth, but I'm talking about your soul, your spirit, your higher self has arrived, you get what I'm saying? And these people know that you have gone through some type of reincarnation or some type of rebirth. Okay? So some of you could be worried about somebody trying to mess up your independence. Or you could feel this intuitively that people are jealous of your ind independence here. Okay? But baby, I won't be worried about shit. Spirit is saying keep investing. Okay? Into yourself. Like I said, you are the arisen. You are the queen. You, the beauty has came. Has arrived. So there's nothing for you to worry about. You're going to always be straight. Let's see what else. Baby, some of you could have, some of you could be a Leo Cancer cuss. But I'm definitely getting that with the chariot and the queen of cups here, baby. It's like you're moving forward. Ooh, ooh, we got the queen of cups and the high priestess. Like, ooh, got hot intuitive as shit. Some of y'all are definitely very intuitive. You could be a psychic medium or, you know, something of that nature. But you definitely are somebody that has tapped the fuck in. Okay? Your spirit has awakened. Your spirit is here now. You don't have control over your body. No more. Okay? Your higher self is within you and is ready to shine. Let me fix that. That looks so ghetto. Okay. But yeah, your spirit has arrived. Okay? You have been reincarnated. The beautiful one has came. Ooh. I don't want to say that. Some of y'all definitely could have took on the Queen Nefertiti, uh, Nefertiti, whatever, her energy. Ooh, I know how some of y'all ain't reincarnated into Queen Nefertiti. Okay, some of y'all are reincarnated. Okay. Some of y'all could have Egyptian uh, descent as well. Some of y'all also could be a water goddess here. Okay. have the water element in your chart baby six of swords yeah you ain't got time for no drama baby because your future look bright with the will of fortune baby okay you are set luck is always on your side baby let me see what else page of pentacles yeah some of y'all just took on a new opportunity some of y'all relocating or have relocated okay to have a new life a new world what have you then we have here the hermit card there you go but well, some of y'all got uh Virgo in your chart. I don't know why y'all is always connected to each other, but baby, some of y'all definitely can have Virgo in your chart. But there you go, Leo. Okay. It's like you like to be by yourself. That's how you get your, your knowledge and your wisdom. You you actually sit there and you listen to your ancestors and what they have to say to you. Some people try to probably steal off your or jack your style, but it's like they don't have a strong connection with the ancestors as you do. So it's like they could never, they could never, okay. Yeah, see, y'all. some of y'all are a leader, and you're no longer stuck, or will be, okay? You're walking away, period, from having emotional imbalance and shit. But yeah, let's see what else. What I tell y'all with the, okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Death card, yeah, some of y'all definitely, definitely going through a major transformation, okay? Some of you, it's like, it don't matter. You, you're you able to, let me say this. Some of you can have an energy field, an energy field, your aura, okay? And you kind of have your guard down. But let me tell you, let me listen now, okay? Not as far as in, I'm getting like, you have your guard down. You still protect yourself the light, but like you have your guard down. Because it doesn't matter if somebody feed you pe uh, positivity or... Or negativity either way it's not able to move you that makes sense okay it's not able to move you no matter what energy somebody brings your way because you are highly protected by your ancestors your ancestors are around you okay if you want somebody to get if you want the spirit guys to get somebody you got to call on them first you gotta be like spirit guy sick they ass sick them sick them sick them 
and they're gonna get their ass for you, period. Okay, oh, I'm getting a lot of jealousy, but of course, baby, you are you are the light, you are the sun, so you're going to have jealousy around you. You got a lot of bitches bickering and gossiping about you at this time, nine of wands, baby, because you have hold your energy back from them and you really see right through their asses. Okay, yeah, these people are in the three of swords energy, they could also be an air sign and since like feeling heartbroken or what have you. They wanted to offer you something, but now they see that they're not able to, okay? This person could have also been talking about you behind your back. Like, I don't get it. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, I was talking about the goddess, the beautiful one, okay? And now you're mad that this bitch, I mean, I say bitch, this queen here had to deal with a bitch. Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. Had to deal with a bitch or bitches or bitch nigga, okay, or whatever, um, that try to gas up and talk about them, assassinate their character, but you can't do that, baby, because that queen is going to be showing up, ah, regardless, like the goddess that she is, or he is, the god that he is, okay, period, let's get into love, ooh, when I look at the clock, it said 11, 11, Let's get into love and we're going to close this thing on out. Okay. Just know the beautiful one has arrived. You have arrived, baby. Your soul has been reincarnated. Okay. You are oh, you are definitely here. Okay. Stepping outside the box, boo. So don't be feeling ashamed or, you know, that you're different or anything of that nature, baby. The beautiful one has came. The beautiful one has came. She has arrived. He, he has arrived. Okay. When I say beautiful, I'm talking about the soul. Okay. Let's see. What's going on for Leo in love? What's going on for Leo in love? Free yourself. Ooh, so there's something you need to free yourself from. Whether that be a mindset, okay, or a relationship or something, okay? Yeah, healing family issues. So your love life could be affecting um, or your parents. You might be, let me say this. For 12, you probably didn't see a lot of love given in the family or your parents. Your parents probably didn't really show you a lot of love or you never seen your mother or your father love someone properly. So that's probably where that came from as well. Uh-huh. But Spirit is saying you deserve love here. Okay. We're going to shoot the cupid toward that person, baby. Okay. Then we have here. Oh, wow. We have your romantic feelings and you've been calling in your soulmate. So some of you actually have been doing the work here. So it's like, how you gonna call somebody in though, but you ain't did the work? I mean, you ain't you ain't feel you ain't uh healed them family issue. Mm-hmm. Spirit wants you to open up and express your love when this person comes in. It's saying, go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Go ahead. Go ahead, babies. For some of y'all, you know, Leos, you know, natural born leaders. And we like to take the lead. And we like to control things and shit. But Spirit is saying, let go of control issues. Pure point blank. Let go of control issues. Boo, period. Okay, attraction. All right. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Okay. Don't try to control the moment. But, in, you know, instead, just enjoy the moment. Okay. Okay. Then we have your trust, baby. Trust. Trust. Okay. This situation will unfold right in front of you, but just have faith. Okay. Yeah. You're definitely going to be getting notes to someone. Okay. Make the effort. I can't make it up. All right. So with that being said, let me get your fortune cookie and then we can call it out. All right. So give me a fortune cookie for my Leos. Oh, jealousy. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. Jealousy, watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish, baby. Okay, like I said, you have a rope, you have awakened, you are a goddess, you are a queen, you are the sun god. So with that being said, it's like you have a lot of jealous people that are around you, but who gives a damn? You know, fuck them. Give them something to be mad about since they so mad. Okay, let's see what else. What else for my Leos? Property. I property purchase or sell for many, but he's security concerns in any transactions. Okay, so be careful when you're purchasing anything around this time. Some of you need to take a break. You have been working hard and your hard work is going to see results, but some of you need to take care of your health first. Get some more sleep or what have you, okay? But I love you guys so freaking much. I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.